Phase two negotiation is a necessary component of VPN connectivity. It facilitates traffic flow between VPN peers and is, is negotiated every 3,600 seconds by default. Consequently, if you encounter VPN tunnel resets or other unexpected behavior on an hourly basis, phase two configuration is likely the cause. This presentation covers steps that you can take to screen for phase two negotiation issues. First, ensure that your OCI VPN's routing type is compatible with your CPE's tunnel side configuration. The Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, routing type is well understood. However, ensure you only use the static routing type if your CPE is configured with a dedicated IP security or IPsec interface, which encrypts all traffic which reaches it and sends that traffic outbound over the OCI VPN. This type of configuration should be paired with a single any any or all zeros encryption domain. Here, encryption domain refers to a pair of source and destination subnet ranges that control traffic flow. Due to variances in terminology, vendors may refer to comparable settings using terms like access list, proxy ID, security association, security parameter index, or traffic selector. If instead, your CPE employs a combination of policies combined with one or more subnet range specific encryption domains or equivalent, set your OCI side tunnel routing type to policy-based. If you determine that your OCI side routing type should be changed to policy-based, take the following actions. Access the OCI console using a web browser. Navigate to networking, customer connectivity, site-to-site -site VPN. Use the compartment drop-down menu to select the relevant compartment. Click the relevant OCI VPN connection. Click the OCI VPN tunnel. Click the Tunnels Edit button. Click the Policy-Based Routing Type button. Populate its associated on-premises and Oracle CIDR blocks fields. Save your changes. OCI VPN Phase 2 issues may also stem from negotiation parameter configuration. To prevent such a problem, review the Phase 2 section of our supported IPsec parameters page. Compare the parameters which appear in this document with your CPE side tunnel config. Confirm your CPE only employs values that you find on this page. For best results, further ensure your CPE's encryption algorithm, authentication algorithm, and Diffie-Hellman group pass one and only one proposal each. Likewise, ensure your CPE's Phase 2 lifetime is set to 3,600 seconds. Next, match your CPE side settings in the OCI console. The following instructions will assist you with this task. Access your OCI console in a web browser. Navigate to Networking, Customer Connectivity, Site-to-Site -site VPN. Use the Compartment drop-down to select the relevant compartment. Click the relevant OCI VPN connection. Click the relevant OCI VPN tunnel. Click the Tunnels Edit button. Click Show Advanced Options. Locate the Phase 2 IPsec Configuration section. Click the Set Custom Configurations checkbox. Use the associated drop-down menus to match all three negotiation parameters to your CPE. Ensure your IPsec session key lifetime is set to 3600 seconds. Thank you for viewing this video. Ensuring your tunnel is properly configured is critical to ensuring stable connectivity. So take the time to review and employ the changes we discussed and reach out to support if further assistance is required.